kids, how you doing? JJD here with another CBN QBR. That's a Craft Beer Nation quick beer review where we take a couple minutes to uh, introduce you to some beers that we've discovered that uh, we found interesting or that we liked. Maybe you might want to check them out. Tonight I'm going to be trying Maui Brewing's Double Shot Double Bock. It's an interesting beer. Uh, spoiler alert, I have had this beer before. I went and bought it again so that means I liked it. Um, this is a very interesting kind of combination hybrid beer. It's a it's a coffee infused uh, Doppelbach, and uh, this is from Maui Brewing. Honestly speaking, I uh, I kind of have passed these guys up lots of times. Uh, for whatever reason in my mind, I I kind of associate them with like Kona Brewing or Longboard Lager, uh, but but they're a legit brewery brewing company. They make a you know, everybody's probably tried their coconut porter, which is really good. They make a great wheat beer, and they have a, a number of other beers that they make, but uh, most of them probably don't make it over to the mainland. But then I'm going to be trying this beer. I, I've had it before. I, I liked it enough to buy it again, uh, and let's see what you guys think of this thing. So let's, uh, let's see what it looks like. Of course, uh, it always tastes better when it's in proper glassware, and any beer is proper glassware with a craft beer nation glass. So first thing you'll notice, um, you know, this beer doesn't look like a Doppelbach at all. It's it's a lot lighter. Um, almost looks like a Marzen or you know another German style. But but big kind of sexy head. It's it's kind of velvety and um, kind of oily looking on top. It's it's got good retention. But but the color of the beer is. You know, is is nothing really like a Doppelbach. It's it's quite a bit lighter, um, and it's, it's it's tough to tell for you guys, but it's it's not filtered. It's a little bit turbid. Uh, you can see your fingers through it, but but you couldn't you couldn't read anything through it. It's not a really clear filtered beer. I mean, the first you know the nose is is huge coffee, okay, and and this beer is a pretty coffee forward beer, surprisingly so. That's one of the things that made it quite interesting for me. But you get, you know, you get that coffee in the nose is the first thing you get. Um, you, you get kind of sweet, sweet maltiness, which you would expect. Um, maybe a little bit of vanilla, but really kind of coffee, coffee and coffee grounds kind of uh, dominates the whole the whole nose of this thing. Um, so let's check it out. What does it taste like? It's a it's a really cool beer. Um, it's pretty sweet, a um, little bit nutty, but a big kind of coffee flavor that goes along with the aroma. Um, it's not it's not a bitter coffee. It's more like a sweet you know milk milk coffee. So you're not getting char and, and bitterness at the finish that I you know maybe associate with a lot of other coffee beers. But it's um, it's very drinkable. It's a little a little sweet for me, but but totally crushable. This is a 8.2 percent beer, so you get you get the malt that you would expect, the, and the malty sweetness that you would expect from a Doppelbach, But it doesn't really taste uh, like a like a traditional German German you know um, Dunkelweizen or Doppelbach. It's 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 a little bit different style altogether, but whatever it is with the coffee is is a pretty cool combo that, that actually works pretty well um, I give big kudos to brewers that try different things and mix styles and do hybrid styles and aren't just making another single malt single hop IPA I mean it takes a little bit of creativity and courage to make a beer like this the mouthfeel on this is I would call it you know, medium you know medium plus a little you know a little bit a little bit heavier than what you would expect for the style, but it's not uh, a Doppelbach. It's normally really filling. You know, it's almost like drinking a meal, and and you don't quite get that feeling with this as it's kind of hitting your belly. Like I said, I mean, this beer is totally crushable. I mean, you could you could pound these and uh, you know and, and be quite enjoyable. It's and it's refreshing too. It's not heavy, heavy in a way. You could drink this on the beach and it would be delicious. So. Um, this is a very cool beer. Um, I, I encourage you to check it out if you find it. I would rate this thing. I say you know the appearance is quite good. It's probably a four for me, um, although not quite true to style. It's a good-looking beer. Um, nose is 
4.25. Um, you know, really interesting, big, sexy coffee nose. Um, flavor is is a four. Um, Mouthfeel is probably a three five. So you know, all in, I, I give this thing a solid uh, 3.75 Craft Beer Nation cap. So uh, again, this is uh, Maui Brewing's Double Shot Double Buck. Check it out if you can find it. It's sold in four packs, um, and it's a very interesting beer that's unlike most stuff you're going to find out there. Enjoy. Peace.